The Diary of Elkana Walker If we are to believe the diary of Elkana Walker, pioneer American missionary in Washington State to the Spokane Indians, he wrote, Bear with me if I trouble you with a little of their superstitions. They believe in a race of giants, which inhabit a certain mountain off to the west of us. This mountain is covered with perpetual snow. They, the creatures, inhabit the snow peaks. They hunt and do all their work at night. They are men's stealers. They come to the people's lodges at night when the people are asleep and take them and put them under their skins and to their place of abode without even waking. Their track is a foot and a half long. They steal salmon from Indian nets and eat them raw as the bears do. If the people are awake, they always know when they are coming very near by their strong smell that is most intolerable. It is not uncommon for them to come in the night and give three whistles, and then the stones will begin to hit their houses. Reverend Walker's established mission was approximately located 25 miles northwest of present-day Spokane, Washington. His diary entry of the snow peak to the west could be one of several peaks in the Cascade Range, such as Mount Baker, Mount Rainier, Mount Adams, or Mount St. Helens, or possibly he could have meant Mount Hood on the Oregon side of the Columbia River. But Sasquatch researchers generally believe the missionary was referring to Mount St. Helens, which has always carried legends of Sasquatches, ape-like men, and of course the 1924 story of Fred Beck, in Ape Canyon. Missionary Walker also penned pre-Civil War references to this beautiful Mount St. Helens as a place where the white man and the Indians never frequented, and who assert it, is inhabited by a race of beings of a different species, who are cannibals and whom they hold in great dread.